What's good, you guys? Welcome back to Cream TV. Today, we're going to be opening two of the newest Pokemon TCG sets, Evolving Skies and Fusion Strike. We got an ETB of each one, and we're going to see which one has the better pull rates. If you're new here, consider hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, and ringing the bell because you really don't want to miss out. We do this every single week. And without further ado, let us jump into the ETBs. Alrighty guys, here we go. We have a Pokemon Center exclusive Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Box and a regular Fusion Strike Elite Trainer Box. Now, the Pokemon Center one comes with an additional two booster packs. So what we're going to do, we're going to add two Fusion Strike booster packs on top of it. 10 packs of Fusion versus 10 packs of Evolving. I say we start things off with the Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike known for its poor pull rates, but we've had some good luck with it lately. Let's dig in. First up, we have our player's guide. This contains every card in the set, all rainbows, secret rares, alternate arts, etc., etc. Got a rule book, but we don't follow the rules. You naughty, naughty. We have our lovely Mew dividers, pack of energies, gorgeous Mew sleeves, damage counters, and dice, code card for the box, and of course, our eight booster packs. Plus the added two, of course. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this opening started. Starting off with the Bolton Booster Pack. Can we pull some heat? That was an absolutely atrocious rip right there. But that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say fire. We got fighting, Bolinx, Stimmy Sage, Dancer, Gumi, skipping cards, Snubble, Geodude, Solizipede. Reverse Electric, and a Hollow Rare Butterfree to start things off. Jumping into the next pack, we got the homie Gengar. Uh, the alternate art Gengar is actually one of my chases, along with the alternate art Espeon, and the alternate art Inteleon. I've actually seen that card for the first time the other day, and it looks gorgeous. So I'm really, really hoping we pull that. We got Dunsparce, Dancer, Solicipede, Parakeys, Pansage, Woo, Lou! <laughs> Pancham Reflectin, Reverse Dewpider, and a non hollow Acelgore. Pack number three. Mew on the cover. In case you guys missed it, I um I did a video the other day fellow with fellow Pokemon Tuber Commander Zhang. We uh we played some Portal 2 co-op, and I'm not gonna lie, that video was pretty funny. I highly recommend you guys check it out. We got Grubbin, Mankey. Crow Gunk, Panseer, Reverse Slugma, looking sluggish, my guy, and a non hollow Latios. Pack number four, no dice just yet, but that's to be expected. Fusion Strike is a very, very hard set to get uh, bangers from. We got Metal, Slagu, how do you do? Shauna, Victini, Panseer, Gumi Boy, Aracuda, let's see it. Let's see a big hit right here. We got a Reverse Zora. End of Mew V. That's a nice hit right there. Let's go. Fusion Strike on the board. Leaving that bad boy up. This is probably my favorite V basic from the set. Jumping into the next one. Yeah, that Mew V is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Hopefully, we can pull a nice alternate art in today's video. Both of these sets have really, really gorgeous alternate art cards. I'm going to guess Electric. We got Water. See what we can do. We got Gliscor. Shelter Boy, Caterpie, Drillber Drillin, Shinx, Buneary, Reverse Snorlax, and a non hollow Zara Aura. Jumping into the next one. Now, I know we got new uh, co cards for the Pokemon packs, but they changed the colors around because we got a white co card and we got a non hollow. So I don't know what the co cards are supposed to look like when you're getting a banger. We got Basculin, Grubbin. Mankey, Crow Gunk, Reverse Eevee, and we got a Mew V Max. I'll take it. Let's go. That is an awesome pull. Sleeping that bad boy up. There we go, guys. Another banger Mew pull. Let's jump into the next one, guys. Man, this video is all about the Mew. Co card right there. Everyone says Fusion Strike pull rates suck, but I mean. 
They're not looking too bad if you watch my channel because we pull some bangers from this set. Totodile, Buneary, Clobopus, Tynamo jumping out the water, Zora, Reverse Corsola, and a Hollow Rare Mel Metal jumping into the next one. We got two more Fusion Strike boosters after this pack, and then we're going to be hopping into the Evolving Skies, which I'm really excited for. Evolving Skies is probably my favorite Sword and Shield era set. Oh, before I forget, right now, down in the comment section, let me know which of these boxes do you think is going to win. Right now, I'm going to say Fusion Strike because those are two pretty, pretty nice pulls right there. We got a Reverse Pan Sage and a non Halu Azumarill. Let's keep it rolling, guys. Let's pull a big, big alternate art hitter right here. One, two, three, four. Wouldn't it be funny if we pulled the alternate art Mew? That would be crazy. We pull like every Mew in the set from one ETB. We got Toxel, Totodile, Bunnery, Reverse Jiggle, and a Hollow Rare Dragapult, our third Hollow Rare of the video. Last pack of fusion before we hop into the Evolving Skies. Let's end off on a high note. We've had five good hitters from this set already. We got fire. Can we pull the fire? Charge a bug. Judge, Pan Sage, Gumi, Aracuda, Snubble, Geodude, Reverse Clay Doll, and to end the box, Non Hollow Oricorio. Now it's time for the Evolving Skies Pokemon Center ETB. Let's see what we can get out of this bad boy. First up, we have our Evolving Skies Player's Guide, once again containing all the massive hitters from the set. There's a lot of gorgeous, expensive alternate arts in this set. Here's some of the fulls. Some more fulls, some alts right here. Very nice. Screw the rules. Energies. Evolution dividers right here. A jumbo Evolution coin. Damage counters and dice. I did not know this thing came with this. A very nice Eevee pin right here. Evolution sleeves. Code card for the box. And last but certainly not least, our 10 Evolving Skies Booster Packs. Let's start off with the Ray Ray Pack. Guys, the cards that I'm looking for Evolving Skies, as you could probably guess, the alternate art Umbreon V and V Max, and the Rayquaza V and V Max alternate art. Those cards are probably some of my favorite Pokemon cards of all time. Absolutely insane artworks. We got Bagon. We got Woobat, Reverse Blubebe, and a Sylveon V to start things off. Let's go. Sleeping that bad boy up. There we go, guys. That's how you start an ETB. Jumping into the next one. Come on, let's see an alternate art in this video. That would be absolutely insane. We're missing a bunch of cards from both of these sets, so really any ultra rare that we get, we probably are going to need, and I'm going to be happy about. We got Ursa Ring. Swablu, how do you do? Dot, Wobat, Eevee, Time Pole, Reverse N-Word, and the Hollow Rare Galarian Moltres. Jumping into the next one, my favorite Pokemon, Umbreon on the pack artwork. Can we get an Umbreon inside? Literally any of them. I'm going to say Water. We got Fighting. We got Boldor, Aroma Lady, Hop Up. Swablu, how do you do? Zora, Cryogonal, Petal, Reverse Stoutland, and the non hollow Pinsir. Jumping into the next pack. Let's see that big hitter. I'm going to keep saying it until we get a big, big hitter. I'm going to get Psychic. We got Grass. Come on, Lombre Swimming. Scroll, Pumpkaboo, Rufflet looking rough, my guy. Emolga, Woobat. Reverse Elemental Badge, and the non hollow Gorgeist. Jumping into the next one, after this pack, we'll be halfway done the ETB, and Fusion Strike is still sitting firmly in the lead. One, two, three, four, I'm gonna say Darkness. We got Metal, we are not getting the Guess the Energy game, guys. Bagon, love this, looking lovely. We got Slackoth hanging off a cliff. Labebe, Reverse Shift Tree. And to non hollow Thievel. Come on, let's see if Sylveon can bring the luck. I think she can. 
I would love to pull also that alternate art still be on VMAX. That is an absolutely gorgeous card. We got water. Ice sick. Ice sick. <laughs> Dino, not a dino. Marie, Wab Wabafet, Love Disc, Dwebble looking like a dweeb. Reverse Carvana into non hollow Altaria. Jumping into the next one. I'm going to be the one to say it. Just based off of my um, my past experiences with both of these sets, I'm going to say that Fusion Strike has better pull rates than Evolving Skies. Controversial opinion, I know. But that's that's what I think. We got Bergmite, Drowsy, Reverse Rescue Carrier, and another Hollow Rare Galarian Moltres. We'll take it. Three packs left in the Elite Trainer Box. I hope Evolving Skies is not going down going down without a fight. I'm going to say Psychic. Electric, yikes. Can't even get the guess the energy. Swablu, Zora, Cryogonal, Petal, Bergmite, Reverse Zorark, and a non hollow Flapple flapping. Let's keep it rolling. I mean, even if we don't pull anything out of, um, out of the rest of these packs, I'm still pretty happy with today. We got three Ultra Rares. That's not too bad. I know the Pokemon Center, they, uh, they've been kind of shorting the ETBs with the hits. Um, I know it, was, it started with Battle Styles, and I mean, it's just been progressively getting worse. We got Hop Up, we got Swablu, Reverse Pumpkaboo, and a non hollow Sharpedo. Last pack of the video, Duraladon. Bring us the juice, my guy. So, funny story about this ETB before the video ends. It, um, Evolving Skies released around the time Hurricane Ida uh, came over my town. So when the ETB from Pokemon Center got close to here, they just turned right back around. And I had to fight with Pokemon Center for a month and a half to get this Elite Trainer Box in. But I I'm glad we have it. Shout out Pokemon Center customer service. We got to reverse it out on. And to end the video. A non-hollow Ampharos. Jumping into the pulls recap. So from Evolving Skies, we got not one but two holographic Galarian Moltres and a Sylveon V. And from Fusion Strike, we got a Hollow Dragapult, Hollow Butterfree, Hollow Melmetal, a Mew V, and a Mew V Max. Alrighty, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know if your prediction was correct in the comments section. If you're new here, consider hitting that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ringing the bell because you really don't want to miss out, guys. We do this every single week. Hopefully, I will see all of you beautiful people next time.